For this video, we're going to carry on looking at Ableton's rotating rhythm generator. You'll find it in packs, CV tools, CV instruments, rotating rhythm generator. It's a MIDI device, so it goes on a MIDI channel. We're going to use it in conjunction with a 707. I'm going to close this off because we don't really need to see it. Uh, I'm also going to turn off these other channels because we're going to be looking at the logic functions. Um, we're just going to evaluate them between two channels. I'm going to set them both to quarter notes. So what we should hear on channel one on C1 is a kick drum. And then on channel two, we'll hear a snare drum. together. So far, so good. And we'll turn the logic function on for channel one. And channel one is going to compare with uh, channel two. As they both have the same quarter note subdivision, we should actually hear uh, continuous playing from both channels. Now, if we change the subdivision for channel two, then we'll hear something completely different. So let's have a look at some of the other uh, logic functions. So, or. XOR. For this example, we're going to uh, explore two ideas within the setting of a, of a drum and bass uh, track. And um, we're going to use the, the uh, rotating rhythm generator to trigger some uh, quite obnoxious samples. And we're going to have uh, some logic functions here across channels 1, 2 and 3, which correspond to uh, these three here and um, I'm going to use uh, four as a as a as the um, as the 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 one that all of the other channels are actually evaluated against so let's have a listen to what that sounds like now if I move uh, channel four's uh, subdivision We can hear changes reflected in the other tracks. Now what I also have is a kind of a hi-hat part over here on channel one. And again, this hi-hat part is um, controlled from the logic functions from channel two. And then the two things together. Okay, for this one, 
Um, we're going to take a slight detour here. We're still going to use the logic functions for the rotating rhythm generator, but we are going to use uh, a couple of samples. It's the same sample uh, here and here, uh, except in the second one it's pitched down an octave. Yes, not exactly the world's most exciting samples, but it kind of illustrates a point. Um, they also have some filtering and some uh, saturation here. I've also got uh, an auto pan effect, but we won't be using that just, uh, just at the moment. Um, here, channel two, which is this sample here, which is down an octave, is being evaluated against channel one. So let's have a listen. It's quite murky under the submarine type sort of sound. Both channels are playing quarter notes. So if I change channel one at some point, you'll actually hear a different uh, uh, rhythm being triggered for the samples. you're kind of like most people you probably have a ton of samples sitting on your hard drive you probably think I'll never use these ever this is one of those moments when you can actually throw them in here let the rotating rhythm generator generate a kind of a pattern and hear what kind of comes out uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and this additional look at the uh, logic functions bye for now